that didn't work out. All right, guys, this is Matt Hall with SimpleCopter.com. Um, we have built a new little tricopter. This one is uh, the 2995 version. Um, it is designed, we built it basically uh, uh, with the cheapest possible setup I could get that would still give really good performance. I'm going to go over the uh, what components we use in here and uh, after we do a little bit of flying with it, so kind of see what it does. Literally, this is the first time I've flown it. Um, I built it in the garage. I, uh, I test flew it in the garage, but this is the first uh, real flight, so. Oops. Make sure she's trimmed good. It should work. this uh oh um boy I sure I'm glad my neighbors uh, aren't home sounds like I broke the back prop Yep, yeah, broke the back prop. Everything else, we're good. So I need to get another prop and we'll continue on. Um, that was a fall from about 35 feet. It did hit the grass, so it doesn't really count. And uh, no other damage. So I'm going to get a prop, be right back. Okay, we're back. Got a new prop. And uh, let's continue on here. Really likes that tree. On a level on. Alright, this is flying on auto level. You can pretty much do whatever you want. And it'll pop back flat level. Nice and easy. Alright, auto level off. Let's go do a uh, Speed run. Before the battery starts getting down. Now these motors really cook. They pull 60 amps at full throttle and uh, and really go fast. So here we go. I don't know the speed, but it's probably in the 50 mile an hour area. Damn trees. Maybe 45, I don't know. It's cooking though, but it'll eat your battery up like nobody's business. Um, let's see what else we can do. That didn't work out. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, uh, another plus. Uh, for some odd reason, when you descend, with this setup, it doesn't seem to rot nearly as bad, I think. Nice and smooth descents. It's not doing the, the wavy thing. I don't know if, if you guys have been flying this for a while, that sometimes they just, you know, kind of shake around a lot on descent, but this one doesn't seem to do that. Um,
Uh, I really like it. Uh, frame stronger. Um, I'm running the 1.6 software. The new KK 1.6 software has a. Uh, it's about 15-20% better uh, handling aspects as far as being smooth and and crisp and holding its uh, altitude. Like you know, if you're doing low level stuff, it'll. Uh, sorry, one more check. Make sure nobody's got a baby stroller coming along. But I mean, it really holds. Of course, I'm skidding the arm down the street. But I don't know how to explain it. For some reason, I can hold an altitude setting better. And uh, I don't know what that has to do with the software, but it just seems to just hold its angle better. What else can we do here? Let's do a forward flip. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, I guess I should have practiced that one a little bit. I think we broke something on that one, guys. Yep. Oh, yeah. This servo definitely came loose and kind of bashed it a little bit. All right, that's back in place. Got a broken prop on this one side. That's not too bad. Yeah, it seems to still be in working condition. So, all right, we're going to go over the uh, components on this uh, tricopter. Uh, first of all, the, the frame has uh, been beefed up a little bit. It's a little bit stronger in the arms. You have a little bit less flex. Um, it's uh, it'll take some abuse, as we've already seen. Either way, um, KK2 board with the 1.6 software on it. Uh, like I said, nice little improvement on on the uh, already pretty damn good board. A um, little cheap orange receiver on it. Um, we have the 20 amp um, F20As. Personally, if I were to do it again, I would do the F30As or two dollars more and, and two grams more. So it's not a big uh, change. These are flash with Simon K software, which makes a big difference for stunt flying, but doesn't really make a great big difference for just hovering around and having a good time. Um, this is a Turnigy 28, 26, 10, 1400 kV motors are about nine bucks from Hobby King. Um, decent motor, you know, they're not super high quality, but, um, you know, for, for 10 bucks, you know, what the heck. Uh, the props we're using are the, uh, from Got Heli, they're the eight, by 4.5 inch um, gem fam plastic props are about a buck a piece um, these do break on impact but they're a little bit stiffer than some of the other props out there so they give really good performance um, my next copter the big one that we're the bigger tricopter will be showing in the next day or two has the uh, new plastic uh, red props from hobby king that are very flexible and take a lot of abuse so you give up a little performance but you know you can't hardly break these other ones so we got motors, speed controllers, board, oh, servo. This is a little cheap, um, Turnigy TGY990S, sorry, can't really read. Uh, five bucks, it's probably the best cheap servo I've ever found. Um, I prefer to use the HS82 Metal Gear servos, but they're 20 bucks plus some shipping. So these are five bucks plus some shipping. So, you know. This is my second one. I've, I've, I kind of broke the first one after about six hours and, and mainly it just would not hold track well. It wasn't broken broken. It was just not holding its center very well. I don't know why, but put a new servo on and it, it runs like a, dry, uh, a champ. So um, cost for this copter, this is not including the battery, not including your remote or charger or anything like that. Just basic cost. If we took this battery off and I, I showed you this and said this is what this would cost to put together, it's about 150 bucks um, as it sits right here. Um, battery, obviously, charger, you have to buy extra. The radio, you have to buy extra. And I, I don't know what to tell you to buy on that because I'm a person who likes to buy a good radio but cheap everything else. So um, this is it. We're going we're gonna to do that forward flip again because that kind of pissed me off that I didn't do it right. And, uh, but that kind of concludes the, uh, the video. Hopefully I've covered everything. Again, Simon K. Flashed. This got the 1.6. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's a great flyer. It's real lightweight. It's one pound 
four ounces uh, without the battery, one pound. Uh, 26 ounces with battery, 19 ounces without battery, so work that out. Um, super lightweight. I mean, you know, the Turnigy Talon frame's like almost 13 ounces without anything on it. So, you know, you'd be adding about, a, uh, you know, five to eight ounces more weight with uh, the pretty frame from Hobby King that doesn't take a hit. But, you know, weight is everything. These things fly like crap, but they're heavy. So I'm going to go do that forward flip, and then we'll call it a day. Yes. Almost at the tree, but that's okay. I uh, recently got an email from somebody telling me that there was really nothing special about this copter besides the fact that I can fly it well. And uh, I have to tell that person that, you know, what makes me able to fly this copter well is the ability to crash it time and time again without having to worry about it. I don't concern myself. If it hits the ground, I pop the motors back on some zip ties and I'm back up in the air. So I can try stupider and stupider things and hopefully one day get them right without the worry that I'm going to destroy my, my $100 copter frame. So what's special about this frame is the fact that it can take a lot of abuse. It's extraordinarily simply made. The uh, arms collapse on impact. The motors pop loose on impact. Um, you know, that's what's special about this frame. It's no, there's nothing, the geometry, the design doesn't make it fly great. What makes it fly great is, is you, and you can fly great after you have the confidence in knowing that if you you know hit the ground, it's not going to blow apart and you have to wait three weeks to get another part from, from China. So that's what makes this frame great, um, and really nothing else. It's, 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 it's the fact that you can beat the crap out of it and not have to be concerned that you're going to be done flying for three weeks every time. You can go to Home Depot, buy another arm, or you can buy them from me. Um, the plates, they don't break. The motors pop loose. Make sure you put your wires on top so when the motor comes loose, it'll pull loose from these actual wires and not tear up your motors. But besides that, you know, I've broken a few arms and booms, but um, it's nothing you can't fix yourself pretty much or, or buy from me and get, get the parts pretty quick to, to fix them. So either way, that wraps it up, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.